So what you thinking in this half bath? So there's no sink, obviously. Um, I don't even know how you'd situate it. It's so tight. It is tight. I can't believe there was a sink here in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when you look at like these condensed spaces like this, mm -hmm. um, normally a good go-to would be either like a wall mount low profile. Oh, so okay. it won't be a vanity, certainly. Gotcha. Yeah, but yeah, but you sure. could put in um, some small pedestal. Yeah, pedestal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So likely that's probably what they had in here before was mm -hmm. they probably had the older wall mount style. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but you could go back and put a pedestal in. Because I'm like the door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if it went out or in. Oh, it's, oh it went it's, out. Yeah, it went, it went out. out. Yeah, it swung out. Okay. Yeah. But that's all. You, you paying attention to all the finite details, which is important. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Those are things because if you can, it's not that you have to know that stuff, but the more that you do know about that, you can offer insight. You can be solution oriented. Mm -hmm. You can hold your contractors accountable. Sure. You know, when something is goofy. Right. right you know right. what I mean? So yep. no, that, those are Absolutely. very good things that you're picking up on. Trying to figure out what was in here. So it looks like, based Obviously on the, this is the sink, right? This is the yeah, that's the sink area. Uh -huh. Oh, stand right here. Oh, it looks soft. Oh wow. Yeah. Seems so hot. you know, on top of the foundation, mm -hmm. looks like we probably even got a floor joist under here. Gotcha. That's that's been compromised as well. Yeah, this looks kind of rotted. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be able to figure that out as we, you know, tear all of this up. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it looks like stove was here. Okay. Okay. And then sink Think. and everything continued mm -hmm. over here. So fridge. Uh, yeah, I would do fridge that wall. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, you got the plumbing here, so you just mm -hmm. tie off of it to put the dishwasher in. Okay. On either okay. side of this. Gotcha. Um, make me no different. Long right. Go in somewhere, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, I would certainly look at, you know, doing the um, continuous cabinets here, mm -hmm. fit the dishwasher in. I would probably put the stove back here again. Gotcha. Yeah, but I would probably put the stove back so over here. So it's facing this way. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then I'm with you. I would do fridge over here. Uh -huh. Now, what would you do with this area? If I could knock that down, I would. Okay. So what are some things that would, tight. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I certainly agree with you. What would be some things that, that would deter you from doing so? Well, it looks like some duct work is going through Absolutely. that wall. Absolutely. Um, and I don't know if it's a supporting wall or not. Yeah, that's good stuff. So, you, so you're right. So when you look at these things, and it, I'm, I'm, I'm actually fortunate that it's open this way because mm -hmm. you can see yeah, the vent work running through, right? Sure. And oftentimes, you know, when we look at partition walls, people have partition walls because they hide in things. Right. <laughs> Whenever you see, um, sometimes you come in the kitchen mm -hmm. and there's a box sure. that's continued around. Mm -hmm. That's that's a soffit, right? And so that's hiding electrical and plumbing inside yep. of it. Sure. And so, you know, but now we want to raise cabinets to the ceiling and have 42 inch cabinets mm -hmm. and all the, the rest mm -hmm. of it. So you just have to come in and, and you know, Rearrange rerun that stuff, stuff gotcha. right? Same is true here. Okay. Now, what I would what I would say is, from a traditional sense, I would come in and say, I don't know if I could open this completely up because there's a cost associated with having to rerun sure. all of this ductwork, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But then when we start out in the basement and I see this egregious foundation issue, gotcha. if I'm gonna take the time out to come in and rebuild the foundation, then I'm certainly gonna have everything else the way that I want it in the house. Okay. One may think, well, because I got to do the foundation, I definitely can't I, do that. I definitely right. can't do this. <laughs> it's just the opposite. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna come in, get that involved in the project, and then not not make sure that I make the best of this gotcha. as you're well. Because adding value that. A hundred percent. Because when you when you come up into this room, I mean, because just imagine coming through the front door. Yeah. I mean, this is a narrow family right. room. Very. Mm -hmm. Right. By the time you put a couch. Mm hmm I mean, you got, yeah. you know, a very table, little space yeah. right there, maybe five, six feet. Mm -hmm. um, so by opening that up, I think it just, it really, it, it does a tremendous oh, sure. thing in here. Definitely. Yeah. Another thing that you always want to be conscious of, and it looked like they already did it, but mm -hmm. this is any exterior wall. Oh, you want yeah. to make sure that you got insulation gotcha. in the exterior walls. Okay. It, you always want to salvage hardwood flooring where you can right, because right. it's the biggest bang for your buck inside the project. That's nice. 
Yes. Like you can never over improve mm -hmm. by putting hardwood floors back. Sure, in. I got you. Yeah, dollar for dollar, you get that back out. Okay.